Hello once again, it's Alpha 3 back with another episode of uh, War Thunder Ground Forces. <clears throat> um, in this one, as you can see, I am playing a Tier 1 German tank. It is the Panzerfuhr Ausführung E. Um, I butchered the pronunciation. Either way, it's uh, one of the first Tier 1 German tanks. Um, this battle is just one I played earlier today and uh, I thought it was a good one and worthy of a replay so I figured I would upload it and share it with you guys so hopefully you enjoy it. Now the uh, T-28 which is obviously a Russian or Soviet tank um, it is a tier 1 I believe if I recall um, and that's a really good tank and when I played World of Tanks I always loved the Russian tanks I still do but um, this game War Thunder obviously is a, is a little bit more realistic and at the time, nothing was really competing with any of the uh, the German tanks that are being produced. So I, I think if you don't look into it very deeply, you'll look and see, uh, what line do I want to go down? Well, okay, the Russian tanks, they've got uh, a lot larger weapons for the most uh, most of the time. Uh, for the most part, rather. Like the, the Tier 1 uh, Russian tanks, they've got 76mm guns, and some of the Germans only have, you know, 45 still. But, um, for example, the Panzer IV Ausführung F2, which is before the Panther line, it only has a 75mm gun, but it has 139mm of armor penetration. The Russian tanks in that same tier, uh, the KV-1 and the KV-1S, um, and they use the Zis gun, which has a lot less than that, I don't know the actual numbers. I forget off the top of my head. But, just to put it in perspective, a lot of the Russian guns, for the most part, they are a larger caliber. But they have a lot less muzzle velocity, which is where the German tank weapons shine. So they've got smaller cannons and smaller rounds, but the muzzle velocity just penetrates anything far superior to anything that any of the Allied forces were producing um, throughout the war. The German tanks were just beastly. You know, you've heard stories of the King Tiger and the Panther, and they they were deadly. Um, anyways, here you can see I'm just taking some pot shots that a guy I can see through the bush. And I can't see him, but I can I see the name and I see the indicator, so I know roughly where to shoot. And I'm getting hits. I'm also starting to take some shots on my side because I'm getting pushed. But I've got my front armor towards him, and it's only a T-26, so I've pretty much got it covered, and I should be okay. I just popped one right through his turret ring and he's down. Doing the same thing, I'm letting my front armor try to absorb it. I've got 50 millimeters in the front. So I'm just going to go for his turret ring again. I'm going to load my uh, APC around here and just punch right through the turret ring. And I think, yeah, next shot gets him. So, uh, oftentimes what I find is if you're not shooting HE, which I'm mostly not, um, the only weak spots, or the only weak spot you'll find in the front of a Russian tank is because they've got a lot of good armor, is the turret ring for the most part. Uh, if you fire HE, you've got a better chance of um, getting some splash damage and knocking out maybe the driver or uh, the commander and their slits on the front of the tank. But for the most part, I just aim for the turret ring because that's the only weak spot really in the Russian tanks in the front. They're very well armored for the most part. So here I start taking fire from both sides. So I, I try to turn because I can hide from the berm on my right and, and face my armor towards that guy that was behind me. But as you can see, obviously, I wasn't in time. So I wasn't able to do that. But still, you can see how this tank takes a beating and really packs out punishment. I got uh, a few kills there. <clears throat> and for the most part, I, I wasn't really in any danger, uh, especially when I was receiving hits from the front until the guy got around me from behind our spawn as you saw when I died to the T-26 uh, because anytime a tank gets behind you um, most of the time it's curtains unless it gets super lucky but uh, yeah this got 50 millimeters of front armor uh, on the hull as well as the turret and uh, like I said it, it's it's got some very nice muzzle velocity which packs a lot of nice penetration which is in a realistic setting like this, and not a hit point based system like World of Tanks, um, 
it's more important for the firepower in my opinion. At least that's what I've had most success with, so make sure you stay tuned and there will be another video out probably on the Panzer IV um, Osirong F2 in the next day or two, probably two days here. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks for checking in. Take it easy.